Hello, and welcome to the DemoAt series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. DemoAts are brief instructional videos that demonstrate specific features of TDV. In this DemoAt, we discuss using OAuth with TDV. The information in this presentation applies to all OAuth data sources, but we will use Google Sheets as our example. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining OAuth and outlining its importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of using OAuth to access a Google Sheets data source. Finally, we summarize the contents of this demoette. Let's begin by discussing what OAuth is and why it is important for our customers. OAuth is an open authorization standard that specifies a set of REST-based interactions that enable a user to give secure, delegated access to user-owned resources. OAuth is used by many cloud-based services, including those provided by Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Twitter, and many others. OAuth is important to our customers because it is either a required or optional protocol for many TDV adapters, including the REST adapter and many of our adapter bundles. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of OAuth with Google Sheets. Here is the business problem that we illustrate in this demo. We have a Google Sheets data source and we want to bring it into the Cisco Information Server so it can be federated with other enterprise data sources and published for data consumers. The Google Sheets API requires the use of OAuth. In this demoette, we'll give examples of all three OAuth initiation styles supported by TDV, Auth, Refresh, and Get and Refresh. This demo focuses on using OAuth in TDV. It is not meant to be a general purpose introduction to OAuth. In addition, this demo focuses on the OAuth aspect of the Google Sheets adapter. It does not provide a complete look at the adapter's capabilities. To run this demo, you will need a Google account. You will also need to create a simple Google Sheet for TDV to introspect. We'll begin by using the simplest OAuth initiation mode, which TDV calls off. In this mode, we only need to supply TDV with an authorization token. However, we'll take a look at how to use the Google Cloud Console to do some basic setup that we'll need for all of the OAuth initiation modes. To begin, point a browser at the Google Cloud Console. Drop down the project list and select Create a Project. Give the project a name and click Create. Type Sheet to find the Google Sheets API and click Enable. Then click Go to Credentials. On the Credentials page, under Where will you be calling the API from, select Other UI. Under What data will you be accessing, select User data. Click What Credentials Do I Need? Now enter a name and click Create Client ID. Now make sure the email address is correct and create a product name for display. Click Continue. Google creates a client ID and client secret. You can click Download to download a JSON file containing this information. We don't need the client ID in secret for TDV in this mode, but we have now created a context for getting an authorization token. Now go to Google's OAuth Playground at the URL shown here. Open and select the Spreadsheets v3 API. Note that Google has released version 4 of the Sheets API, but the TDV adapter requires version 3 as of TDV 7.0.3. Click Authorize APIs. Google requests offline access. Click Allow. 
Google presents an authorization code. Click Exchange Authorization Code for Tokens. Copy the access token. This is what we need for the TDV adapter. Note that this token will expire in about an hour. That's important to understand for TDV to initiate off mode, as we'll see in a moment. Now we can create an adapter in TDV Studio. In this example, we are running Studio and Server on different machines. For OAuth initiate mode of off, the behavior is identical regardless of whether Studio and Server are on the same machine or not. This distinction will become important when we look at the Get and Refresh mode later in the demo. To begin, select Google Sheets as the new adapter. On the Basic tab, paste in the access token and enter the name of the spreadsheet you want to introspect. Note that the data source can only introspect one spreadsheet, although the spreadsheet can have many tabs and each will be introspected. On the Advanced tab, note that the default setting for Initiate OAuth is off. This is the setting we will be using in this first example. Here is the list of introspectable resources. Most of them are procedures that let us do CRUD operations or OAuth operations. Spreadsheet tabs appear as tables. This is my sample spreadsheet, which contains only one tab. There is also a Spreadsheets table, which contains metadata for all the spreadsheets available to me in my Google Sheets account. After introspection, I can open my spreadsheet in TDV and work with it like any other data source. However, Google sets my token to expire after one hour, and with our OAuth initiation mode set to off, we have no way to refresh the token. Although TDV's OAuth initiate mode of off is easy to set up, it is only practical for services that provide tokens with very long lifetimes. Next, let's look at how we can tell TDV to automatically refresh access tokens. Let's try refresh mode, which will automatically refresh expired tokens. Just as before, We'll begin at the Google Cloud Console. We'll create a new project just to keep our work separate. Name the project and click to enable APIs. Find the Google Sheets API, enable it, and go to Credentials. In the previous example, we selected Other as the calling application. This time, select Web Browser. Because we selected Web Browser, our credentials page now presents a field called Authorized Redirect URIs. Enter the URL for Google Auth Developers Playground, as shown here. This gives us a mechanism for authorizing issuance of refresh tokens. Click Create Client ID. Now verify your email address and enter a product name you want to show users. Download your credentials to obtain the client ID and client secret. Now go to the Google Developers Playground and drop down the settings. Click Use Your Own OAuth Credentials and enter your client ID and client secret. Authorize the Spreadsheets v3 API allow it, click Exchange Authorization Code for Tokens, and copy the resulting refresh token, which we will use in TDV. We don't need the access token because we'll be using the client ID and client secret instead. Now create a new Google Sheets data source in Studio. On the Basic tab, enter the spreadsheet name but leave the access token field blank. On the Advanced tab, select Refresh as the Initiate OAuth mode. Enter the client ID and client secret that you downloaded earlier. Enter the Refresh token. Note the OAuth Settings location. TDV stores the access information in a text file. 
I like to customize the location as shown here. The default path for this field uses an environment variable called AppData, which resolves to the current user's roaming directory. This can provide flexibility for migration, but might also be a point of confusion. In addition, note that this file is stored on the TDV server machine. In this example, we had Studio and Server on different machines in order to verify that the settings file is written on the server machine. Now you can introspect and work with the data just as we did before. The difference with refresh mode, though, is that when access expires, TDV will automatically refresh its token. This action is transparent to users. Finally, let's try get and refresh mode. This mode provides security advantages because we only need to provide a client ID and client secret. We do not directly manipulate access or refresh tokens. In addition, human interaction is required to authorize initial access. However, get and refresh does add some complexity to the process of data source creation for two reasons. First, we must create the data source with Studio and Server running on the same machine. We can do this in a development environment and then migrate to production, but we must begin the process on a single machine. Second, we must run TDV Server without Monitor, because Monitor will not permit the human interaction we need for the authorization process. To do this, stop the TDV Server service, but leave the repository and cache services running. Now go to the TDV Homes bin directory and run composite server.bat with the run parameter, as shown here. Go to the Google Cloud Console and click Enable and Manage APIs. On the Credentials tab, drop down the Create Credentials and select OAuth Client ID. Select Application Type of Other, name the credential, and click Create a client ID and client secret are returned. Now create the data source in Studio. On the Basic tab, name the spreadsheet and leave the access token blank. On the Advanced tab, set the initiation mode to Get and Refresh. Enter the client ID and client secret. Note that we do not enter a refresh token. Again, I like to customize the settings file location. This can be especially useful with get and refresh. As noted earlier, the default path uses the app data environment variable. Keep in mind that we are now running TDV from a command window. The path defined by app data can be problematic if the user account for the command window is different than the user account that normally starts TDV as a service. By specifying a path here, we can avoid any possible confusion. On the other hand, the app data variable might be useful in migration scenarios. When the settings are complete, click Create and Introspect. At this point, a browser window appears. Google is asking for access approval. This is why Get and Refresh initial introspection must be done with Studio and Server on the same machine with Monitor off. Click Allow and Google responds with a success message. Introspection then proceeds normally, and we can work with the data as before. Now return to the command window and hit Ctrl-C to terminate TDV. Start the TDV server as a service and resume normal operation. Running TDV from the console is only required for the initial introspection. We have seen examples of all three styles of OAuth initiation supported by TDV. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. OAuth is an open authorization standard that specifies a set of REST-based interactions that enable a user to give secure, delegated access to user-owned resources. OAuth is used by many cloud-based services including those provided by Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Twitter, and many others. OAuth is important to our customers because it is either a required or optional protocol for many TDV adapters, including the REST adapter and many of our adapter bundles. 
Thank you.